Hello, everybody, and welcome to Turn to Page 13. Oh, unlucky number. I it, So weird that this has nothing to do with that. I feel like that'd be very much of the, you know, the theme, but no. It's Scream yeah. of the Evil Genie. It, it should be 13. like Triskaidekaphobia goosebumps give yourself, you know, something in that kind of realm. Probably give yourself goosebumps. Like that almost certainly I... should be in that order, but Triskaidekaphobia <laughs> could be the title. Give yourself Triskaidekaphobia goosebumps. <laughs> Just give, give yourself, yourself a specific kind of goosebumps. Triskaidekaphobia, then open this book and turn to page 13, upon which you will receive your goosebumps. Now, I understand that is a long title, and that's why they couldn't print it in such a form on this front page. But sure. it was the intent. I, I can only imagine so. But either way, uh, I know we... Audio medium. We mm. always talk about the cover. But this is... This is a surprising cover. It, this is a, unlike a genie that I have seen before. Mm -hmm. It is coming out of an aluminium can that has been betoppled over. And it just kind of looks like a cloudy mist. You know what it looks like? It looks like, what if, uh, you know, that ghost Pokemon you see in the Sylph Tower mm. before you have the Sylph Scope? Yep. What if they were serving a look? <laughs> what if they you put know? the Yassify filter on the Silscope, <laughs> un unsilscoped that ghost? That is exactly what this looks like. What if they Yassified the unsilfscoped ghost? <laughs> uh huh. That, that's what. <laughs> that's what this cover is giving me, and it. I kind of love it. It's so. also like, you know, very, as, as you mentioned, the tipped over aluminum can. It's got trash can kind of vibes. Like it's set in a back alley. Obviously yeah. there's two trash cans in shot as well. So it's it's got that kind of like the, the glitz and grime kind of like, it, it's playing mm. on both at the same time. It's, it's got that contrast. It, it looks like this is going to be a musical. Mm -hmm. Like, and I will be disappointed when it's not. But I guess I guess anyone could be. I guess it's up to us if it's a musical. Is exactly. It? But <laughs> we'll see if any of these characters have a particular musical note about them. Yeah, you want to find out on the uh, beware page. Let's give it a be look. <clears throat> beware! Do not read this book from beginning to end. When a genie named Jenna pops out of a soda can and offers you three wishes, you think all of your dreams have come true. But Jenna has a few tricks up her sleeve. If you don't watch out, the wishes of your dreams could turn into a nightmare. Should you wish to be rich? Famous? The best looking kid around? Or something else entirely? It's up to you. But when you decide, be careful. Jenna's wishes have a way of going wrong. You could find yourself battling an even evil ninja rat man, or trapped on a desert island, or chased by a tiger. Oh, and one more thing. If you don't say your wish exactly the right way, Jenna will see to your doom. You're in control of the scary adventure. You decide what will happen and how terrifying the scares will be. Evil Ninja Rat Man. Mm-hmm. I really think they could have built up to that, right? Like, it's, it's you know, yeah. standard comic trope demands that it's A, B, C, and C is the one that's extreme. Instead, yeah. Evil Ninja Rat Man or a desert ivory, or even a tiger. And it's like, what? Hang on. <laughs> I know. It's it is surprising. I can't wait. I For some reason, I do feel like it's going to be less uh, erratic than the last book anyways, mm -hmm. even with the theming. And uh, I'm excited to figure it out. I don't know. I like the, I like the genie theme. Did you ever have like the, like your set plan for like, Oh, I, I found a genie. These are my wishes. Did you ever have that, or did you ever have like a plan for like, all right, how do I min max this genie? Like, was that uh, ever? A, did that ever cross your mind? I I very occasionally thought about it along the lines of, could I turn on like cheat mode effects in real yeah. life? Like, could I be like your your mother load and uh, IDDQD? Could I like, you know, just have them interpret that version into the real world? Which I think is like a lack of imagination on my behalf, which is like, you know, if someone was in a world, what wish would they make? Well, let me look at cheat codes. So I could easily end up <laughs> with an interpretation of this where I rub a lamp and end up with big head mode on. 
I was about to say, I want big head mode. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to yeah. go bobblehead down the street. Although, it's entirely possible that I did ask for that at some point because I got a <laughs> giant noggin. Ah, uh, mine ain't small either. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> some, someone out there must have used a wish. There's, mm -hmm. there's no other explanation. Oh, my goodness. Uh, either way. Someone turned me into a one. pop figurine. <clears throat> <laughs> A fun call, Pop. A anybody home? You call. Charging into your house after school one day, the door bangs shut behind you. Silence. Total silence. Hello? Mom? Dad? Anybody? No answer. Where do you think? You drop your school books on the living room table and hurry toward the kitchen. Why is there no one around? Not even your brother or your sister? You've never been home and found the place empty your foots foot steps creak on the floor as you head for the kitchen door mom you call again nothing you feel a little creepy all alone in the house then you think of something that makes you grin no one's here you can do anything you want time to raid the refrigerator you zoom into the kitchen yank open the fridge door it's packed. There's some leftover pizza, a whole container of nacho cheese sauce, chocolate cake, a big bottle of fruit punch, two six-packs of cola, fried chicken like What? Sorry. This fridge? You're reaching <coughs> for some cake when something catches your eye. Hey, did one of those cola cans move? I mean, honestly, if, if I'm a kid in this scenario and I have found that fridge, I'm putting my hands over every single one of those objects, except for the cheese sauce, because... That's not shells. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like I, it. I love that joke because it's the Sam and Max reference in it that just warms my heart. But this fridge is daft. This, this if this fridge is just like, you know, normal, if this if the fridge is normally stacked like this, this is a problem. But if there's been an event recently and this is all held over I, from it, I get it. Yeah. I don't know if there's an event. I think I know where your family is. I think they died. <laughs> I think that their arteries are beclogged. Yeah. I think they're gone. <laughs> this is, I. my fridge has never been that stocked with absolute, you know, wild stuff. Oh yeah, my. Yeah, these are all very much the tippy top of the food pyramid. The, the yeah. lodestone <laughs> just at the very top. Yeah. I don't know. Jealous. I guess that's... I, I'm just jealous. Mm. Page two. You stare at the cola can. Nothing happens. It's only a can of soda, you tell yourself. The silence must be getting to you. You grab the cola from the six-pack, along with some chips and a slab of chocolate cake. Why not? You usually don't have a chance to pig out like this. Then you head to the family room. You flop down on the couch in front of the TV. No battle over the remote today. Where is everybody, anyways? You wonder again. You flip up the tab on the cola can to open it, and then instantly you hear the fizzy gas escaping. Psst. Whoa, the fizzing won't stop. You shove the can away from you, holding it out from your body. The can must have been shaken up. A fine, wet spray shoots all over you. Then a cloud of misty white gas begins escaping from the can. Your eyes widen as the cloud grows bigger and bigger, and then it fills the room like a giant mushroom cloud. Your mouth drops open in awe. Something else is coming out of the can. Something alive. Go to page three. With a loud hissing sound, a ghostly, life-sized woman, young woman, squeezes out of a cola can and floats in front of you. Ouch! She exclaims. She shakes herself off like a wet dog. The mist scatters around her. <sighs> that hurt. For another second, she hovers above the coffee table. Her form is thin and airy like a hologram. Then she suddenly becomes solid, drops to the ground, and lands on her two feet with a thud. Ha! She greets you. What's up? You don't answer her. You can't. You're too shocked to make your mouth move. Instead, you stare at the amazing person standing in your family room. She's got spiky red and purple hair and five earrings. She's wearing a fuzzy, short black sweater and baggy blue jeans with black combat boots. Well, hey, I'm talking to you. She yells. Go to page four. Uh, um, <laughs> hi? You answer. 
You're too surprised to say much else. She's cool, you think? Watching her strut around as if she owns the place? Definitely cool. Well, nice place. Sort of. She exclaims with a snorty kind of laugh. She flops down in a big stuffed chair across from you, stretches her legs out, and lets her combat boots fall on the coffee table with a clunk. She flashes you a big smile. Okay, let's cut to the chase. She rattles off. My name's Jenna. I'm a genie. You got three wishes. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever you want, three things. Fame, fortune, a giant bag of diamond rings, you name it. Except I don't do windows. I don't do guns, knives, or death. If you want off someone, get another genie. Got that? Um, uh, <clears throat> yeah. You mutter, finding your voice. So what's it gonna be? Make your first wish. She insists. Windows, please. I would like windows. <laughs> Why does it? Are we supposed to remember? I, I bet you we're going to need to remember that she doesn't do Windows. She uses Mac. It's fine. Uh, you're just full of them today. <laughs> <laughs> you got hey. Joke.com open on the left. <laughs> Look, when these books were written, these would be yeah. the hottest zingers in town. I would be the, the toast of the barbecue. Absolutely. There'd be, a, there'd be an entire book filled with everything that you're saying. In fact, I bet you there's a lot of them. <laughs> I, and I, I have one it. of them open to the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my. But, yeah, I except I don't do windows. I feel like that's so strange that I feel like we're going to have to mm -hmm. go back on to the next page. I have to remember. Uh, page five. Before you can ask one of the zillion questions swimming around in your brain, Jenna snaps her fingers. Oops. Wait. She cries. There's something I forgot to tell you. The most important part, if you want to make another wish, you got to open the cola can again, then whoosh, I'll pop out and say, what's up? And then we can boogie from there. Got it? Uh, no. You shake your head hard. I, I don't get any of this. How did you get in that can in the first place? And how can I open it again if it's already open? And how can you come out again? You're already out. It's a genie thing. Jen explains with a toss of her head. Believe me, I'll be in there. Take my word for it. You're too astonished to argue with her. Is this for real? Okay, hurry up. Jenna says. Make a wish. I don't got all day. This is 100% to explain why we're just going to be returning to the same page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you open a can again. Don't don't worry about the fact that it's already been opened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just a plot hole cover. But anyways, we have four questions or four wishes that we can make right now is this the most a big celebrity <laughs> what? wait a second go, go through the options <laughs> okay if you wish to be a big celebrity turn to page 73 i already see the problem with that one mm -hmm. if you wish to be the richest kid in the world turn to page 45 if you wish to be the best looking kid in the world turn to page 39 i can see gimmick there too if you wish for something else besides money fame or good looks turn to page 66 is so this the most we're gonna be like choice yeah, free reign we've been given kind of i think we've, we've gotten another page with four but this is like early on we're getting sent in a lot of possible directions mm-hmm Okay, 1, so thousand <laughs> percent, we're gonna be a large celebrity, like exactly a big in stature celebrity. Huge. No doubt in my mind, it's gonna be like, a problem. Ginormous, it's a, gonna be a problem. Uh, best looking kid, I don't know. Like, are they just gonna make it so we have really good eyes? Like, we're gonna mm -hmm. we have good vision or something? The richest kid in the world. I mean, that's problematic for different reasons, but I don't know what the catch is. I think I like I don't know what the, the with, gotcha. I think goosebumps logic. I think it's entirely possible. It's like you are like you taste the richest and you get eaten by a goblin. Like I literally think that's possible. Uh, I think that could be too. Well, is it boring to wish for something else? I don't think it is, and I don't think it's boring to wish for something else. Just because I think it's entirely possible. The, what is laid out here for us are three traps. <laughs> I think that that is entirely possible and probable. Although, I, I'm curious, I do kind of want to know what. Least. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to know. We become the biggest celebrity in people. Just quiver wanna... before our might. You want to give that a go? Let's. We just go to seventy three. Let's do it. Be prepared. Be prepared for becoming embiggened, and then see what happens. Let's be famous. Let's do it. Yep. Um, I guess I want to be famous. You tell Jenna. Well, that's cool. Jenna smiles. She jumps up from the chair and paces around your family room. Oh, I can picture it. You're huge. You're recognized everywhere you go. Your face is on every magazine cover in the universe. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then she stops in the middle of the room and stares at you. She's chewing bubble gum, and then she blows a big bubble. But, like, what kind of famous? She asks you. I mean, do you want to be major celebrity movie star TV thing? Or how about a famous sports star? Or what? Any of that stuff would be great. You reply quickly. Well, it's your wish, kiddo. She snaps her bubble gum in your face. Pick. Movie star or sports star? So in my head, I'm like, which class do we want this stat for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, I feel like a sports star would more likely want to be large. Yep. In, absolutely. We are absolutely going to be large. I think like, we could be the world's most efficient goalie. Absolutely. I can picture it. You're huge. You're recognized wherever you go. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, like, all right. I, I, 31? You 31. Know, same logic? <clears throat> oh, my God. I wish to be a famous sports star. You tell Jenna. That's cool. Jenna says. She gives you a strange smile. Yeah. Very cool. An instant later, you hear a hissing sound. Then the whole room fills up with a white cloud of smoke. You can't see a thing. When the cloud of smoke clears away, you find yourself standing outside in the middle of nowhere on a frozen pond. It's a crisp, clear, frozen freezing cold winter day all you can see for miles around is snow snow covered trees snow covered rocks snowy rolling hills even snow on the ice <laughs> it's not that weird uh you glance down and realize you're wearing skates and holding a broom in your hand there's something heavy in your coat pocket hey you shout out where am i no one answers you hey what happened you cry, beginning to panic. Jenna, where am I? No answer. Someone, anyone, where am I? Why didn't I get my wish? We may have potentially picked the one that doesn't make us large and just makes us a sports star in a strange place. I think so. I think we might be a curling star. Oh, I like it. Oh. Hey, good end. Sorry. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Stunned, you stand on the ice in the freezing winter landscape. Ice covered in snow, by the way. Pretty weird. Wondering what went wrong with your wish. Hello? And what you should do Sorry. now. Apologies. Hello? Hello? Let's try one more time. Anyone? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Quit yapping! A voice behind you shouts. You turn around and see a big, burly man in a heavy wool coat. He walks out of the snowy woods and steps onto the ice. You notice he's wearing skates, too, and he's also carrying a broom. With his shoulders hunched down, the huge man skates right towards you. He's holding the broom across his body with both hands, sort of like it's a weapon. What's he going to do with that, you wonder? For some reason, you feel almost certain he's going to smack you on the head. Help! You cry, shivering from the freezing cold. Quit your whining! The man yells. He has some kind of accent. Maybe Scottish. He picks up... I think... I think so. <laughs> he yeah. picks up speed. <laughs> Quit your whining or I'll give you something to whine about. The guy skates towards you with so much power and speed, you're afraid that he's going to mow you down. Turn to page 54. There's no point in trying to outskate the burly man. Where would you go? You don't know where you are. He may be your only hope. You wince as he reaches you at top speed, but then he skids to a quick stop just in time. What's the matter, champ? He says. Why are you just standing there complaining? You figure you have a lot to complain about. 
No wish, no way to get home, but you can't explain that to the stranger. He'd never believe you. What happened, you wonder? Didn't the genie understand your wish? Didn't she know you wanted to be a famous sports star? Where's the stadium, the locker room, the fans, the not ice with snow? Ah, come on, jump. The guy claps you on your shoulder. Just because you're the best curler in all of Canada doesn't mean you don't got to <laughs> practice, you know. Get busy for the World Curling Championships, don't we? Huh? You have no idea what this guy is talking about. What? What's curling? What's curling, Precious? The burly man throws back his head and laughs. <laughs> What's curling? <laughs> He shouts, still roaring with laughter. That's a fine question from the captain of the world's best curling team. <laughs> Thank you. This was not what I expected, but <laughs> I like all. it. I like it. Uh, all right. Number five. Come on. <laughs> What's curling? <laughs> you ask again, <laughs> but he just laughs and shakes his head. Finally, you face the facts. He thinks you're just joking. He's not going to answer. A few minutes later, some other curlers show up. You watch them and figure out what the sport is. Curling is a game where teams of four people try and slide a heavy stone over the ice towards a circle using brooms to sweep the ice in front of the stone. I don't believe this. You mutter to yourself. Not only are the rules weird, it seems to be only played by people your grandfather's age. Slander. Libel. What am I doing here? You think to yourself. But the real question is, what are you going to do now? One thing's for sure, you need to be more careful about how you word your wishes. I... Do we? I'm sad at <laughs> this. If you want to try a totally new wish, turn back to page five and choose again from the wishes at the bottom of the page. I mean, yeah. If you still want to be a famous sports star, but you want to pick the sport yourself, turn to page 80. I'm okay with this reality, though. Mm-hmm. I, I only want to go to page 80 if I can choose curling afterwards. Yeah. I think curling it's... is the very appropriate level of sport where like to some people, super huge, very important, but no one's annoyed at curling. No one's like, oh, curling again. Like curling yeah. is only enjoyed by people who enjoy curling and making jokes about curling. Like it's, it's <laughs> not like uh, uh, omnipresent in every life. It's true. I mean, I kind of want to go to page 80 just to see if they give us the option of being a famous curling star, <laughs> which is now going to be one of my genie wishes in real life if that mm -hmm. happens. So, Ask to be a yeah, big objections? curling star. I want to be a large curling star. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be a thick curling star. I think that's really going to be a uh, something to break the ice with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just looking over to the other but, side of the screen. Pa yeah, <laughs> just pages flipping, pages flipping. <laughs> do you want to hit this 80 up? Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. This curling game may be a load of fun for these old guys and people who just like curling, but it wasn't what you had in mind when you made your wish. There must be some way to fix this wish, you think, but how? You just shove your freezing hands deep into your pockets. Your fingers hit a heavy object. From the weight of it, it seems like it might be a cola can. You pull it out. And it is. The genie must have put it there when you made your first wish. You turn away from the other curlers and skate to the edge of the pond. Then you hold your cola can in your hands and flip open the top. Turn to page 14. <laughs> the can in your hand shoots away from you like a rocket. White cloud gas escapes and then the genie. Whoa! He exclaimed. What happened to you? Everything about Jenna is different this time. She's much bigger and she's wearing a black leather instead of fuzzy, soft black sweater. And she's wearing black leather instead of fuzzy, black, soft black sweater. Her jacket has sharp metal studs sticking out all over. Even her boots look dangerous. There's some kind of sharp metal points on the toes. Jenna looks as if she could hurt you just by giving you a hug. So? She says with a sneer. Guess you aren't so good at this wishing thing, are you? Uh, um, I never said anything about curling. You reply, trying to stand up for yourself. I just wanted to be a sports star. And I made you a sports star. But he I... responds. But I... Grrr! 
Jenna growls and you stop protesting. When she bares her teeth, you can see that they're sharply pointed. She holds her face up close to yours and growls again. Turn to page 33. What's Jenna doing? You tremble and swallow hard. <laughs> You're terrified she's going to bite you with her razor sharp teeth. You gather up your courage and clear your throat. <clears throat> um, J Jenna, didn't you, didn't you tell me I had three wishes? <sighs> Jenna snarls, baring her teeth again. If she bites me, her teeth could tear away my flesh to shreds, you think. To shreds, you say. Fine. Jenna snaps. Wish away, if you think you can do better this time. She's right. You don't want anything to go wrong with your wish. You have to phrase it very carefully. The problem was you weren't specific enough last time. I wish I was a famous baseball player. You finally say, your voice is shaking. But you try and keep it steady so she won't notice how scared you are. Can't you do that? I wish I was a famous baseball player, not this dumb curling thing. <sniffs> Jenna hisses like a cat. You skate a few feet backward and you wonder what she's going to do. And she rolls her eyes. <sighs> okay. She grumbles. But remember, you've used your second wish. Turn to page 68. All right. Poof. In a cloud of white smoke, the genie grants your wish and disappears. When the smoke clears, a familiar sound fills your ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah, peanuts. A crowd roars. <laughs> you open your eyes and glance around. Fantastic. This is more like it. You're in Yankee Stadium, stepping up to the plate with a crowd of thousands cheering and calling your name. Your nickname, that is. They're calling you the Great One. Great One! Great One! Great One! <laughs> they chant in rhythm. That's so cool, you think. I must be awesome. And you are. You hit three home runs in this game alone. Your dream has come true. In fact, you're so happy with your new life that you never want to change a thing ever. So you never even use your last wish. Then one day, when you're signing autographs after a World Series game, a kid comes up to you and says... Great one. Um, I wish I could have something of yours, please. Just, just anything. So you reach into your gym bag and pull out the old cola can. The one with the genie inside. You toss the can to the kid. Sometimes wishes do come true. You say as you stroll away. The end. This is the fastest good ending. Also, no deaths. I think that we yeah. speed ran this 100% perfect as well. I Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> this could just be one where there's like lots of little different good endings. And it's like, see all the ways you can get good endings. It's not very goosebumps spooky, if that's the case. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I, guess, I mean, we'll have to find out. Like, oh, I, I'm not done. Oh, of course. We need to. We have not yet been accosted by an evil ninja rat man. <laughs> yeah. So where do you want to go for this? Do you want to go back to just, do you want to we see if the uh, TV star gives us what we thought we were going to get? Uh, we or could do, do that. Further? Sure. I, I was thinking of jumping back to five. So the decision between the different wishes. Sure, 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 sure. <clears throat> Works for me. Cool, cool. Well, I mean, uh, we've been a big celebrity. Should we be the richest kid in the world, the best looking kid in the world or something else? Well, I will say that we wanted to go to 66 to see what the point was. So mm. do, we, do we want to just follow up on that that thread before if this Let's is do where it. we get yelled at? All right. Page 66, which is <laughs> wish for something else besides money, fame, good looks. Turn to page 66. <clears throat> okay. For a minute, you don't know what to say. This totally cool genie pops out of a cola can and offers you three wishes. You can't believe it. But you know what you wish for. Something awesome. You can picture it there in front of you. Before you put it into words, you can hear the car pull up. Uh-oh. You tell the genie quickly. Uh, my mom's home. You've got to hide. Uh, come on, to my room. Motioning for her to follow you, you race down the hall. You push Jenna behind your closet door so your mom won't see her when she comes in. And you know your mom will come in any minute now, because she always does. First thing, every day when you get home from school, she nags you about your homework and then scolds you for not making your bed. Insists you clean your room. Hi, you lambykins. 
Your mom calls as she enters the house. You cringe when you hear the babyish name. Jenna snorts, then she pretends to put a finger down her throat and fakes a gag. You giggle. <laughs> You're so cool. I wish you were my mom. Oh my god. <laughs> you blurt out. You wish I were your mom? Jenna declares. I can do that. Uh-oh, you made your first wish. Turn to page 136. Oh, boy. I did not expect <laughs> this angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. Bam! A door slams in the back of the house, startling you. Someone's home. Wait a minute, you think? You already heard your mom's footsteps down the hall, so who just came in? You pop out of your room and spot your big brother, Randy, bounding into the family room. He's 16 years old and really clumsy. Your mom says he's at an awkward age. His hands and feet seem too big for the rest of him. Jenna follows you into the family room and flops down on the couch. Hi, Mom. Randy mumbles as he glances at Jenna. What's up? Wait a minute. Did he? What did he? What did he just call Jenna? Turn to page seventy-nine. Hey, Randy. Jenna answers. She's chewing gum and popping it loudly. Good day at school. It was okay. Randy answers her. But I got kicked out of math class for not having my homework done. Jenna shakes her head. Your teacher's a jerk. She tells Randy. Don't even worry about it. Right? Randy agrees. He flops down on the couch beside her. You stare at him, your eyes wide, then you stare at Jenna. You can't believe this. A totally cool version. Why does... Wait, what? A totally cool version... Why does Randy act as if he knows her, as if he's seen her before? Why isn't he freaking out? What are you looking at, goof? Randy snaps at you. Um, Rando? You say, using his nickname. You lower your voice and lean close to him. See that person next to you? With all the earrings and the combat boots and the wild hair? Who is it? You ask him. What planet are you on? Randy snorts. That's mom! Turn page 90. This is getting weird. Way too weird. She's really done it. Jenna has turned into your mom, and you're not sure that you like it. Rando. You try and you try again. That's not really mom. Our mom's blonde, and she's 40 years old, and she wears pink sweatpants, remember? Give me a break. Randy punches you lightly on the shoulder. I'm not in the mood for games. I'm serious. You whisper loudly. That's not... Mom, that's some kind of genie who just came out of a cola can. She gave me three wishes, and I wish she'd be our mom, and now she is. Yeah, very funny. Randy says, but he doesn't laugh. I'll prove it to you. You tell him. You reach over and grab the cola can sitting on the coffee table in front of him. It's the can that you just opened, the can Jenna popped out of, but it's not open anymore. You stare down, how can this be? You wonder. The can is sealed up, and it feels full. Hey, now, careful with that. Jenna warns. Turn to page 42. You gaze at the cola can. Why? You ask Jenna. Oh, you'll find out. She answers mysteriously. She looks so serious that you gently place the cola can back on the table. Wait, didn't Jenna say she'd go back in the cola can each time you made a wish? So why is she still here? Easy answer, you think. You wished it. You wish for her to be your mom and it came true. But if Jenna's out here, what's in the cola can now? Randy stands up. You grab his arm. Randy, she's not our real mom. You insist. You've got to believe me. Oh, stop already. Randy yanks his arm away from you. If she can grant wishes, I wish your face would turn blue. He stomps out of the room, but the door at the doorway, he glances back at you. Oh! Randy shouts. How'd that happen? What? You ask. Your face. He cries, pointing. It's blue. You leap off the couch and race to the mirror. Oh no, your face is really blue. Now what? If you wish your face were its normal color again, turn to page 53. If you don't mind having a blue face, turn to page 18. Trap. Uh, trap. Third trap. wish. Trap. Third wish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is it just like an easy Simon Says Gotcha? Like, or is it, I mean, 
Or are we going to be in a situation where if we have a blue face, someone is going to, you know, I, you know what? Hey, I don't mind having a blue face. I don't mind having a blue face either. I mean, so few people have a blue face. I know. Stand I mean, out. I can think of three of them, but they're on tour in Vegas like every night. So I don't think they've got time. I know. Oh, I love Blue Man Group. I can't wait. I, I've, I've been. It was <gasps> unrelated. I've been. It's, it was wonderful. I can only imagine so. I've only managed to see smatterings and snippets online consistently, but it's very much my kind of thing. Yeah. No, smattering and snippets are good, but they're no Blue Man Group. Mm -hmm. uh, you decide to go on living with a, a blue face. Why not? You don't want to waste one of your three wishes just to turn your face back to its regular color. And besides, your new mom has a red and purple has red and purple hair. A blue face will fit right in. There's only one thing that's bothering you. Uh, mom? You stammer. It's weird calling Jenna by that name. Uh, how come my face turned blue when Randy made a wish? I'm giving him two wishes. She answers you. Or maybe three or four. I'm not sure. Maybe I just like him a bit better than you. You, you can't do that. You cry. Who says? Jenna replies. Randy's mouth is open so wide it's hanging down to his chest. Finally, he closes it enough to talk. Give me a break. Randy says, looking at you. You don't really believe mom can grant wishes, right? You don't think I did that to you, right? Like, if I say I wish your face will be pink and purple stripes and pink and yellow stripes, it's, it's gonna turn, whoa! Turn to page 106. All right. Randy doesn't even have time to finish his sentence. In an instant, your face is covered with pink and yellow stripes. I wish you'd shut your mouth. You snap at Randy. No problem. Jenny says with a giggle. Uh-oh. You blurted out another wish without thinking. You glance at your brother. His eyes are wild, full of terror. He's trying to desperately open his mouth. He pries at his lips with his fingers, tugging, pulling, twisting. No matter what he does, he can't get his mouth open. How's he, how's he going to eat? You ask Jenna, your voice rising. That's your problem. She says with a sly smile. Okay, think. You tell yourself. You've got only one wish left. What do you wish for? Finally, you decide. I wish you'd give me the rest of Randy's wishes. You tell Jenna. You think this is pretty clever, so you start to smile. <laughs> Jenna just laughs. Granted, she says. But he doesn't have all that many wishes left. In fact, he doesn't have any. I didn't like him better than you after all. Ha ha. Uh-oh, you just used up your last wish. Oh well, your face is pink and yellow, it, but it probably should be red after all the mistakes you've made. The end. Well, should, I mean, I'm curious. It, are we supposed to wish for our face to not be blue and that we just have one wish left? I think it's entirely possible. Should we check that out? Yeah, I mean, and then maybe we'll be able to wish for all of Randy's wishes and he'll actually have wishes or something. Mm, that's, the, uh, that's the timeline where Jenna does like Randy. Exactly. Sorry, which page uh, was 53. this? 53. 53. Thank you much, Lee. All right. Your face really is blue. Bright blue. Even your scalp is blue. You rub at the color, hoping it'll come off. No luck. You're permanently blue, but just down to your neck. The rest of you is regular color. What's going on? You cry, whirling around to face Jenna. He made a wish and I granted it. She says with a shrug. I'm the mom. I say everyone in this family gets two more wishes. Like, you've got two more wishes. You got a problem with that? Yes, I've got a problem. You scream at her. Look at me. You don't like it. Jenna snaps. Fix it. You hate to use up your second wish this way, but you've got to. You can't stand to go around with a blue face. Okay, okay. You mutter. I wish my face was normal color again. You run back to the mirror to see if the wish worked. But you can already tell from Randy's reaction that it did. Wow. He says to Jenna. 
Awesome. How'd you do that, Mom? Oh, it's easy. Jenna brags. I've had years of practice. Thousands of years. Randy glances at you with a twinkle in his eye. I know what I want next. He announces. Randy, don't you dare. You scream at him. Turn to page 98. But you can't stop your brother from blurting out his wish. I wish I could have the wildest, most amazing party ever. He says. And I wish it was happening right now. The two wishes. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Uh, oh my is, God! You're right. Wow. Whoosh. You feel a sudden rush of dizziness, and for a moment, the world seems to go black. When you open your eyes, it's nighttime, and your house is full of happy, noisy, partying high school kids. This isn't so bad, you think. Randy could have wished for something a lot worse. You glance around at the family room. You're standing in exactly the same spot you were before, but the room has changed. It's lit by candles, music blares from the stereo system, and mobs of kids are pressed against you, trying to shove and dance their way through the crowd. Everyone's drinking cola. Hey, suddenly, you think, where's that cola can? The one that Jenna came out of? The one she told you to be careful with? It was on the coffee table a minute ago. Now it's gone. Turn to page 38. We have officially reached the scariest page in Goosebumps so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Look, Dracula... Ain't nothing. Pretty sure he was made of wax when we encountered him. The big, tall, and small guy who turned us into wax don't really care about that. Any of the monsters that have chased us, no framilization, not a thing. A little bit, but no. Yeah. This party would kill me. I Yeah, I'd be dead. I'd be done. I'd be on the floor. I'd be on the wall. I'd be on the floor. Mm-hmm. Let's find this you cola can. The cola can. You have to find it before someone else does, because who knows what would happen then. Jenna warned you to be careful with it. It must be very special. You spot a guy in an orange t-shirt hanging out near the television. He's holding an unopened can of cola and talking to a bunch of Randy's friends. Is that the one? Was that the can sitting on the coffee table a minute ago? You're just about to ask him when you hear the sound that you recognize all too well. Your five-year-old sister, Kate, screaming her head off. Ah. Oh, I, I wasn't going oh, to no. perform her scream just in case it was at the very top of the next page. I, I'm taking the time to limber up my vocal cords for the five-year-old sister. Oh, God. Oh, uh, no. I mean, we we probably do want to choose that direction because our choices here are if you continue searching for the cola can, turn to 13. If you run to figure out what's wrong with Kate, turn to 110. And look, I, I think the duty compels... I, I think so, too. I will ask a question quick if we sure. could pause so I could fix my headphones. Absolutely. Okay. Had to fix the headphones. All good. Uh, so 38, you have to, if you continue to search for the cola can, page 13. If you run to see what's wrong with Kate, turn to page 110. You say duty compels. We duty compels. Duty compels. So, Kate. Kate. You can't just let your little sister scream, can you? Of course not. So you find that, or you forget the cola can. You find the cola can. You forget the cola can. You race through the dark house down the hall, following the sound of her cries. Hell, stop it. You're scaring me. Kate screams over and over again. Turn to page 114. Kate's screaming is coming from the hall that leads into the kitchen. What you get, wait, when you get there, a bunch of teenagers are crowded around laughing and slapping and one another high fives excuse me move it let me through you shout trying to be heard above the noise randy must have used another wish you realize now there's a live rock band playing in your family room finally the teenagers move aside enough for you to see kate cowering outside the closet door crying the minute she, she sees you she runs up and throws her arms around your legs <laughs> Kate shrieks, still sniffling. Who is? You ask her. Randy and those other guys. She whimpers. They keep hiding in the closets and jumping out to scare me. You give Kate a pat on the head. Okay. You tell her. Take it easy. 
I'll put you back to bed. No! Kate whines, stamping her foot. I won't go! I won't go! They'll hide in the closet in my room! And when the lights are out, they'll scare me more! You know what I wish? Wish? Did she just say the word wish? Uh-oh. Turn to page 24. I wish a monster would jump out of the closet and scare Randy! Right now! Kate says... Oh no, you think. Your stomach tightens into a million knots. You gaze at the closet door, which is still closed. Randy's friends are all laughing and making fun of Kate. But when Randy's eyes meet yours, he realizes what you've already figured out. Her wish is going to come true. Any second now. Turn to page 43 if you dare. Did anyone open the cola yet? Like, is this necessarily going to come true? Has that been confirmed? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. And also, like, we don't know that she even has the wishes mm -hmm. like to well, be fair. i i do think actually jenna may have hinted i'm giving everyone in your family when she mentioned true. that she was giving it also to randy so i think that is covered at least true 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 the closet door flies open ah! kate screams gripping your leg so hard you think your blood will stop flowing Inside the closet, flinging its arms and legs wildly, is a huge metallic creature with an enormous silver skull. A long gray tongue darts out at you between its terrible silver teeth. The tongue makes a sickening, sucking sound. Randy's friends are back away from the closet. They scream in such a blood-curdling terror that you can't hear the band playing a few feet away. What is it? A girl screams. I don't know. Randy shouts back. Whatever it is, it looks hideous and deadly. You're doomed. Turn to page 74. Help! Kate screams over and over again. Help! You want to help, but you're frozen in terror. Your eyes are glued to the monster. Its arms and legs flail, desperately trying to escape from the closet. Kate bolts out of the room. Randy's friends follow, stumbling and screaming. Still, you can't move. You can't tear your eyes away. The metallic monster's antenna waggle at you. Big drops of saliva roll off its tongue and splat onto the floor. Growth! Randy moans. Quick, wish it away! You wish it away! You snap. You've only got one wish left. You have to use it carefully. I can't! Randy shrieks. I've used mine up! Crash! Suddenly, the giant metallic insect punches one long, wiry leg through a wall. A sharp pincer claw on the end of its leg reaches out towards Randy. It grabs his arm. What are you waiting for? Randy screams. Wish it away! <laughs> I'm trying to remember her voice at the moment. <laughs> no, way! <laughs> Jenna suddenly rushes up to you. Are you sure you want to do that, sweetie? Turn to page 25. Are you sure you want to get rid of the huge monster insect, the monster that has your brother gripped in its enormous claws? You better believe it. Why not? You demand. Why shouldn't I just wish the bug away? Because your real mom is in that soda can? Jenna whispers. And if you don't find that can and wish her out of it, you'll never get rid of me. Can't you wish to switch places with my mom? You ask hopefully. Jenna shakes her head, rattling her earrings. Oh, I don't get to make the wishes myself. She explains. I only grant them. Okay. Okay. You try not to panic. How about if I wish for her to come back and for you to go away? Mm, couple of problems there, kiddo. She snaps her gum at you. One, you'd still have the bug in your hands. And two, I can't get back in the cola can if I don't have it. Wish! Randy screams as the bug pulls him closer. Wish away the monster! What are you going to do? If you use your last wish to get rid of the bug, turn to page 115. If you go and find the cola can first, wish to pay, or turn to page 119. So, thoughts. Mm. I, maybe, I have some. Do you? Maybe, uh, what's her name? Girl child mm -hmm. has wishes. Maybe she and, does. And she can use hers. And we save boy, child. 
I so. like that actually. I think I think you are correct. I think also the fact that uh, that that she's here means the cola can has already been opened. Uh, I think this this is trying to make you think that the last wish is the trap, but the other option is the trap. You're one hundred percent correct. Let's go to page one fifteen. Uh, that's my thought, but hey, well, you've got to get rid of that monster. <laughs> I wish the metal insect would go away forever and never come back. You shout. Then you close your eyes and you hope you said the wish right. Because sometimes makes your Jenna makes your wishes turn out all wrong. When you open your eyes, everything is quiet. You glance at the closet. It's empty. The metallic insect thing is gone. Kitty comes up behind you. She's smiling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She cries, giving you a big hug. You're the best. I wish I had a hundred more brothers and sisters just like you. Uh-oh. Did she just say what I think she said? Did she just make another wish? Yep. And your wishes are all gone. Suddenly, the house is overflowing with kids, and they all look exactly like you. Oh, well. At least now you have some help when Randy decides to pick on you. You outnumber him a hundred to one. Well, this didn't go how I planned. The end. <laughs> but it's not inherently... I... It's Bad. not necessarily negative. Yeah, I mean, if all of us work a part-time job, yeah, I think you know each of us can get away with five hours a week. We pull our money. Oh, we're gonna have to eat as well. Mm. I'm gonna figure out a way to commit them. exceptional fraud with this, though. Oh, I thought you were gonna say uh, just a little bit of cannibalism. Oh, you're right. We've just been gifted stocks and stocks of long meat. Exactly. And so we got jobs, we got food, we're mm -hmm. set. Uh, but you know, we can try and find the cola can first if you if you so if you wish. I'm I'm keen because I this one did acknowledge like you know there was the additional wish available. Uh, yeah. It's just it got <laughs> spoiled uh, by duplicating us. Yeah. But on to page 119. Is 119. One. Yeah. I can't do it, you think. I can't use up my last wish. If you do, you'll never be able to get rid of Jenna and your mom and get your mom back. And you're sure that getting rid of the genie is the most important thing in the world. I wish it! Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, come on, that's what I... Kate screams behind you. She has crept back into the hall. I wish the monster would get out of here right now! Whoosh. The world seems to spin just for an instant. Then everything is so quiet you can hear the hum of the stereo amplifier in the family room. No music is playing, there's just a steady hiss as the electricity buzzes through the amp and, the s and speakers into the room. The monster is gone. Way to go, Katie! You cheer, ruffling her hair. You got rid of it! Good girl! Yeah! Randy says weakly. <laughs> Good job, Katie. He rubs his arms where the monster had gripped him. That's when you hear it outside, the sucking noise, the shrill, high-pitched, whining and clicking sounds, the screams. So, I didn't expect, you know, the one where we made the wish to be the one where we don't make the wish and she makes the wish. Mm-hmm. So... She doesn't oops, do it as well as we did, bad. though. It's true. We we were better. I wish we made the wish. Oh no, that was the wish. <laughs> That's my final wish. Oh no. <laughs> you rush to the window to see what's going on outside. Yow! You fly backwards as a pane of glass explodes. A long metallic leg with a metal pincer claw shoots into the house through the broken window. You scream, Randy ah. screams, ah. Katie screams. Ah. From the front yard, you hear Randy's friends yelling and shouting, too. The horrible metallic insect lifts itself over the windowsill. It lets out a shrill cry, then it lands on your family room floor. Your eyes grow huge and your heart pounds horribly. Randy has backed up against the wall. Katie collapses on the ground. Why did it go away? Katie wails. I wished it would go away. You realize what happened. Katie didn't wish carefully enough. It went away, all right, away to your front lawn. And now it's back. Turn to page 60. Here We've got to do something. Randy shouts. No kidding. The enormous metal monster's claws crawl. Wait, 
The enormous metal monster crawls further into the room. Its antenna wave as if it's searching for prey. Then its head slowly turns your way. It seems you found what it was. It found what it is looking for. You. You feel along the wall, desperate to find a weapon, anything you can use to defend yourself. Your fingers touch a baseball bat leaning against the doorway. Luckily, Randy never puts his things away. The monster creeps closer and closer. If you bash the insect with the bat, turn to page 46. If you try to escape by running outside, turn to page 129. I mean, batter up. I mean, batter up. Sounds good to me. 46. The monster insect's claw is about to close in on you. <laughs> you scream in horror. No! You grip the baseball bat tightly, swing your arms back, and let it fly. Quam! You smack the claw hard with the bat. You know what? This is a missed opportunity. I... I want... I'm sad that it doesn't have, like, a... If in another life you were a famous baseball player... Mm-hmm. Ah, a shame. Wham! You smack the claw hard with the bat. Bam! A second hit. Ka-slam, bam, wham! Three more hard hits. Yee! <laughs> you scream as the bat strikes... One final time, all at once, the giant claw pops open and flies open wide like a huge clamshell, revealing the horror of what's inside. You gasp when you see it. Ten or fifteen smaller metallic claws, each one big enough to pinch your head off or crack your skull into a thousand little pieces like a nutcracker. The multiple claws spring out at you, snapping and snapping viciously. No! You scream in utter terror. All at once, you don't care what happens. You don't care whether you ever see your real mother again. All you want to do is for the monster to go away. I wish the monster would disappear forever! You shriek. Turn to page 87. Whoosh. An instant of pure darkness, then silence. The whole world seems to come to a stop. Did the earth stop spinning? Did the stars go out? Finally, you can see again. You open your eyes and you glance at Randy, who's collapsed on the floor. He gives you a weak smile and a thumbs up. You sigh with relief. The huge metallic insect is gone. You creep over to the window and peek out. No monster out there. Did it work? Is it really gone? Turn to page 16. A bunch of Randy's friends stand in your front yard. How did that happen? How did that happen? You hear them asking each other. What? Did you see the sky go dark? Where did the metal thing go? Too hard to explain, you think. But the important thing is, the monster is nowhere to be seen. You turn back to the living room and stare at the mess. Broken glass, pizza boxes, cola cans everywhere. Empty cola cans, not full ones. Um, um, this was a... this was too close. Randy declares, scrambling to his feet. You use your last wish. Thanks. Yeah. You say a little sadly. Then you spot Jenna. She's sitting criss-cross legged <laughs> on top of your family's big TV. She looks sad too. Oh well. She sighs. If I have to get stuck with a real job being a real mom forever, I guess that isn't so bad. I'd rather have you guys than any of the other kids I've met. But you are our real mom. Randy says. Not really, you think. Your real mom is in a cola can somewhere, and Jenna will never be able to get her back. Her genie powers have come to an end. Oh. It, is this the good ending of this path? <laughs> well, is we, that what's we implied could here? We could theoretically escape by running outside. Mm. Try that still first. That was 120. You want to, you want to run that one to its end and then whatever happens, happens because we did already get our good ending? Let's do it. All right, 129. 129. Uh, oh, this is all me anyway. A wooden baseball bat is no weapon against a metal monster, you decide. Katie has managed to climb out the broken window. Randy is throwing everything he can at the insect books, games, sneakers, anything. But still, the monster comes towards you. Time to make a run for it. You dash for the front door. Snap, snap, snap. You hear the metal claws opening and closing wildly behind you. You know what you have to do. You have to find that cola can and fast. The metallic insect sticks its head out the window. It's looking for you. Crawls back out the window and, and after you. Turn to page 124. 
Why does the metal monster get any wishes? I wish yeah. I could catch them better. <laughs> it's not part of our family, unfortunately. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Low blow. 124. <laughs> Stay away from me, you creep. You yell at the metal bug. You dash towards a group of Randy's friends who are all standing out in the street, gawking from a safe distance. <sighs> Listen, everyone. You pant as you rush up to them. Did any of you take a can of cola from the family room? I really need it back. They stare at you as if you're crazy. A short girl shakes her head. A giant metal bug rampages through your house and you're worried about a beverage? She demands. Besides. A guy in ripped jeans adds. It's a party. Everyone grabs sodas. I know, I know. You answer quickly. But I need a certain can, a special one. It was on the coffee table. They obviously think you're nuts. Behind you, the insect crawls closer. Please! You beg. It's important! Finally, a guy in an orange t-shirt reaches into his jacket pocket and pulls something out. Is that it? He asks with a shrug. I was going to drink it later. You grab the cola can from the guy. Is this the right one? You have no way to know. Turn to page 95. <laughs> Thanks. You tell the guy. You clutch the cola can tightly. You dart around to the back of the house and dash inside. The bug doesn't follow. Yet. Jenna! You call. Jenna, where are you? What's going on? Randy rushes into the kitchen. Jenna is right behind him. Just wait. You tell your big brother. You'll see. A what's up, sweetie? Jenna asks. Then she spots the can in your hand. Oh, you got it. That's the one. You got it. You let out a long sigh of relief. You have the right cola can. Okay, give it to me. Jenna orders you. I've got to hold the can to get back inside. Then you can wish me, wish that you never met me, rather, and everything will be all right. But what about the monster? You cry. That thing's headed our way. It will kill us all. Don't worry. Jenna says. Trust me. Trust her? Turn to page 70, 21. <laughs> Are you sure that's the right wish? You demand. Jenna just shrugs. Smash. The back door splinters into pieces. The monster. Okay. You cry. I wish I'd never met you, Jenna. For an instant, the world is dark, spinning. Finally, everything is still. You open your eyes, find your mother standing beside you, your regular mom. Except you notice she's wearing funny clothes. You glance down. So are you. You gaze at your mother again. You realize her clothing, clothing resembles costumes worn in the Thanksgiving pageant at your school. <laughs> she looks just like a pilgrim. Uh-oh. Um, excuse me? You begin uncertainly. What's your name? She laughs. <laughs> you know my name, silly. It's Lavinia. Lavinia? That's the name of your great-great-great-great-grandmother. Who knows the name of their great-great-great-great-grandmother? <laughs> Jenna granted your wish, all right. She sent you back to a time before you ever met her. Way before. And that was your last wish. So the story comes to an old-fashioned end. Dang. You know, I honestly... So this story comes to an old-fashioned end is probably the top, t top three, at least, of the puns for an ending. I love it. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I'll say that all of these... Uh, everything that happened in the last... 40 minutes just means that I'm even happier with the <laughs> fact that we did get a 27 minute win with like I don't know like what 5, 10, 20 minutes of banter you know <laughs> so, I'm gonna say it was also a 200% run through here's my reasoning yeah. we managed to win quickly yes. fastest route no deaths but also, we then even gave a wish. We gave a happy ending. We gave, uh, possibly, hoping the kid has actually, you know, 
managed their own version of figuring out the best way to make wishes. We've given that kid yeah. a happy ending as well. And maybe he'll even pass it on to the next person after becoming, hopefully, a championship curler because someone needs to. Also, I just realized the epilogue of one of the endings we got is really interesting. Oh. We she when she wished for hundreds of brothers and sisters just like us. Mm -hmm. They're part of the family. <gasps> oh, I didn't wait, think about that. Just That's, like us, yeah. It's specifically exactly. not clones of us, so it is new members of the family. You're 100 percent right. That is a way to so, mill out wishes from Jenna. Like you can't wish for a thousand wishes, but you can wish for a thousand brothers. Exactly, and then just they're just like you, so they want the same stuff. So honestly, that's probably not a bad ending canonically either. Mm -hmm. so, three hundred percent hey, completion rate. I know three hundred percent. All collectibles. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, speaking yeah. of let's go, let's go. Let's go to a couple of folk who gave us some. Nice, juicy little information at the turn to pagecast at gmail.com vis-a-vis oh, yeah. the upcoming books. Yeah, huge, big, massive thank you. Don't, I mean, don't want to dox, so I'll just say, Daniel, thank you so much for the, uh, the link to the Reddit thread and Unstable Strafe, who also sent us the link to the Reddit thread that has... A lot of the, like, a lot of the book. Not every single book that's left, but most of the books that are left uh, in the series that we didn't have access to. Uh, so huge, huge thank you to uh, to both of them for, for sending those. So we'll get to do more uh, of the Give Yourself Goosebumps than we originally thought we were going to be able to. And hopefully, like, within the time being, you know, like, maybe other ones get archived, something like that, while we're still working on it. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, hey, just the, the fact that we were probably only missing like eight of them or something. Yeah. And at some point, like it probably would be a good idea to mention which ones those are. Uh, I guess, like, just in case people somehow know how to access those. Mm. Uh, I mean, I can pull it up and the, mention it right now. If yeah, like. yeah, I got it right here. I can say, I can say, the ones that we don't have access to. If there anyone knows how to find a digital version of these, if you would send it to turn to pagecast at gmail.com, uh, we are looking for a digital version of Lost in Stink Eye Swamp, Invaders from the Big Screen, it came from the internet, Hocus Pocus Horror, Ship of Ghouls, Into the Twister of Terror, All Day Nightmare, and then there are three special editions. Trapped in the Circus of Fear, One Night in the Pain House. It says those are pending archival, so I don't know if that means they're going to be added at some point uh, soon. And then Weekend at Poison Lake. So that that's a big deal. Like that's uh, we were missing access to like eighty percent of those mm -hmm. last week until those emails. So uh, big thank you for for that. Like huge thank you for like when we asked, you delivered. We're just bad at searching, I guess. I, <laughs> this like... is the thing that concerns me so much because there was a Reddit thread and this is the Reddit thread that's been forwarded to us of, uh, four months ago of people specifically looking for these copies. And yeah. man, I could have sworn I torn up Reddit search functionality every which way I possibly could in order to look for these kinds yeah. of things. And all I found were threads like, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't know. It was one of those where like it would be old and it would have a reply and the reply would be, uh, let me know if you find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So either way, like that's very exciting. But yeah, for those ones that I that I said, if anyone has leads or access or like a, a ability to access or make a PDF of those, you know, sending them to that that Gmail, turn to pagecast at gmail.com uh, would be so appreciated. Uh, but hey, already excited. I just got a lot more ahead of us now as a result. Otherwise, we were kind of, we were winding down the amount. I mean, we still had like seven books left before we got to that, like the danger zone. But mm -hmm. now we have a lot of books left before we are like, eh, I mean, hey. Yeah, I feel like uh, like when I feel like Wallace atop the well, it's, it's Gromit who's atop the the track trying to build it in front of himself for the train, and I've just yes. been reloaded with more tracks. Yes, exactly, a hundred percent. 
and a i mean if we seeing the list of ones we have access to now is the kind of thing where like if we did all those i'd be like cool great like mm-hmm. that's that's a lot that's very exciting uh either way though uh that is that that's gonna do it here for today uh i'll, I'll say you know the same thing there is a youtube channel with the dedicated like i'm you know if you're listening to this somewhere else you want to see like the youtube video version it doesn't have anything like super fancy going on with it just you know uh it's the podcast but if you want to get it on youtube there is youtube.com slash at the the at symbol this is just what youtube's doing now youtube.com slash at turn to page cast uh you can find the podcast youtube page there if you want to help support the podcast that way uh that'd be great in addition to you know sharing it with anybody you think might be interested or reviewing those things are all very very helpful uh but yeah it's a good time i i'm i am surprised but also not surprised at all that this book was indeed more sensical than the wax museum Mm -hmm. i i don't know i don't i don't know why uh that one was the way it was but i'm glad it was and i'm glad this one was not that way it's like it's a sometimes food to go on a trip of that style uh, yeah, and, uh, I, I feel like they sprinkle them appropriately within yeah. the catalog of uh, Goosebumps. <laughs> exactly. Every once in a while, there's just like a what the hell's going on, and then it just gets back to like a normal Goosebumps story. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then well, it would be a full book that's just a normal Goosebumps story. Speaking of that, do you want to uh, tell us if you happen to know what the next one is going to be? Oh, that is a great question. It is... Oh, I've seen the pictures for this one a lot. The creepy creations of Professor Shock. Ooh, that's I. I don't know why. I feel like that's a a famous cover for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, just another like kind of themed sort of thing. Mm-hmm. We've been out of the t- the tech monster early on. There was, it was very like tech and robot monster forward, mm-hmm. and then it stopped being that way. So I'm excited to get back to our roots of weeks and weeks ago exactly months ago wow. i'm excited to see uh, the possible return of framalization i will make it happen but alas that's it uh thank you for listening we'll be back next week with more uh turn to page thank you thank you and we'll see you next time bye bye bye